Officials from several different agencies met for the second time this year today to discuss the drought situation in southern Maine. One of their biggest concerns is Maine agriculture. Smaller farmers are facing some real challenges. In particular, uh, grassland and hayland is very hurt by uh, dry conditions. The drought task force discussed help for those in need, announcing loans will be available to small businesses and small agricultural cooperatives in York, Oxford, and Cumberland counties through the Small Business Association. While water restrictions aren't in place yet, officials are asking farmers to plan ahead for 2017. It's scary when uh, you're not sure how your crop is going to go. That's your, that's your livelihood. Uh, it's also very tiring. Uh, if you have irrigation, uh, if you have to move pipes and hoses, if you have to uh, carry water to animals, it's just extra work on what's already a very long work day. So uh, it's, it's difficult to uh, be in this situation. Since we've had this pond, it has never gone absolutely dry like this. A situation Ramona Snell and her husband are starting to grow concerned about, especially when they look at one of their ponds currently bone dry. That's kind of an emotional... Uh, challenge to see dry because we don't know how much longer the drought is going to go. She says many of their crops are doing just fine. Like later plantings of things that need some water. It's been a little bit of a struggle to get those going. But hope like many other farmers in Maine right now to see more rain in the future. It's pretty much the same thing in uh, all the folks that we go to farmers market with will we'll always say if there's been a little shower. Did you get rain last night? And uh, pretty much people are in the same boat. Here at Smiling Hill Farm, you can see one of their ponds out here is completely dry, and they say that with, that they do things are good. They do need a couple of good soakings of rain for some of their crops. I just also wanted to mention emergency assistance is also available for some farmers through the U.S. Department of Agriculture. Officials are also urging people to talk to their town officials and to their town offices if they're dealing with drought issues. Live in Westbrook tonight, Morgan Sturdivant, WMTW News 8.